there were two cases here where the mother got COVID within the second trimester, it was healthy prior, and then when the baby was born, it immediately had seizures and acquired microcephaly. When tested, neither infant was COVID positive at the time, which is telling us that this transfer is happening in the womb. The most important thing here is that the babies had detectable COVID antibodies for both the nucleocapsid protein and the spike glycoprotein. So this is from a COVID infection. This is not from vaccination. If it was from vaccination, you would only have the spike glycoprotein. In the first case, the infant died at 13 months. And in the deceased infant's brain, when they did the autopsy, they saw that there was COVID uh, proteins, that nucleocapsid protein and the spike glycoprotein um, within the brain. In case one where the infant died, there was immediate display of seizure-like activity and poor respiratory effort, um, which required intubation and assisted ventilation immediately when the baby was born. And a brain MRI on day two showed an intraventricular hemorrhage. So in case one, there are the two hemorrhages, and then we're seeing significant brain atrophying by uh, 10 weeks of that infant. And here is the um, autopsy study. And right here, these green and red, these are the spike proteins and the nucleocapsid proteins of COVID. In that second case, again, there was a negative test when the baby was tested for COVID. Um, and by 16 hours, she developed clinical seizures, which were confirmed on conventional electroencephalography, where the brain MRI at four days is showing uh, areas of hypoxia where by 12 weeks, we're seeing bilateral brain swelling. In both placenta from both cases, there was thrombosis as well as um, stromal fibrosis, which is blood clotting and uh, fibrous blood clotting, which is preventing blood from being able to flow appropriately to the baby through the placenta, which corresponded to high-grade fetal vascular malperfusion.